Hey everyone, welcome back to Pop Culturally Challenged. My name is David. This is my beautiful wife, Tony. Hello. And tonight we're going to be watching The Wedding Singer. What do you know about this one? You said it was with Drew Barrymore mm -hmm. and Adam Sandler yeah. when we watched um, 50 First Dates or whatever yeah. that was. I think this one is like six years before really? 50 First Dates. Yeah, this was like 98. So, hmm. yeah, I have seen this one. It's been a long time, but I, I, I have seen it. Um, I think you'll enjoy it. Um, probably right up your alley. I hope so. it's not as sad as Fifty First Dates, because I thought that was going to be a funny movie, and it ended up being... I don't know. I don't remember it being sad, but hmm. I suppose it could be. <laughs> Are you ready to get started? Yes. All right. Well, if you guys enjoyed this reaction, please give us a thumbs up. Comment down below. Let us know what you thought of The Wedding Singer. If you'd like to see the re the full-length reaction to this and everything else that we've reacted to, we will put the link to our Patreon down below. Don't forget, like, comment, subscribe, share. Turn on the notification bell. And on that note, on with the show. Out on the dance floor! Whoa, look at just couple. love those dresses. Yeah. <laughs> I want to say this took place in the 80s, yeah. though. It was one of those movies that was filmed in the late 90s. It took place in the early 80s. Uh. <laughs> His hair <laughs> I hate to All I know is that you disclose what there'd probably be me on the dance floor. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I've ever been to a wedding that they had a live band singing. Uh, the wedding that the girls and I went to this past summer, uh -huh. they had a live... Oh, wow. Hey, somebody get some pants on that kid! <laughs> yeah. Pee all over her dress. <laughs> Is that him singing? I think so. It's pretty good. Let's put our hands together for the groom's brother, David. Yeah. Oh, there, it's him again. Yeah. I've seen him before. And I've always been the screwed up one. Right, Dad? <laughs> Little newsflash, Pop. Harold ain't so perfect. Oh, oh no. <laughs> Remember that time in Puerto Rico when we picked up those two... Uh, <laughs> well, I guess they were prostitutes, but I don't remember paying. Okay, how about that? <laughs> the best man, everybody. Best man, the better man. I <laughs> thought mm. he was going to knock something down. Yeah. I've uh, done some crazy things in my life, too. But then I met a very special girl. A girl who I'm actually marrying next week. So all I'm saying is that when you fall in love <laughs> like you guys, and the way I've seen you two looking into each other's eyes all day long, I can tell that you're going to live for each other for the rest of your lives. Good save. I have day. Ooh, I like her. <laughs> She's Holly Sullivan's cousin. <gasps> oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, you did not. Who acts that way? I don't know. Nobody I've ever seen. How's your first night going, cuz? It's just that being at this wedding is making me realize that Glenn is never going to set a date, and I feel like an idiot. Hey, you know what you must do. Relax. <laughs> <laughs> Give me time. Is that the only song he knows? I think so. <laughs> Can you take him to the bathroom? a friend of yours i couldn't let him do it in front of his family yeah they would have seen him well, in the I'm bathroom glad I got to see it. <laughs> i'm glad i got to see it <laughs> hey oh i i got it uh, actually, actually you know what you go this way and you go this way hey you know wedding singer <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> that didn't look like it was planned that looked like he actually fell you're the wedding singer and i'm robbie I'm Julia. I'm actually waitressing at your wedding next week. That's a beautiful ring you have there. Are you getting married soon? Right now, I feel like I'm doomed to wander the planet alone forever. Kind of like the Incredible Hulk, huh? Only I'm not helping people. Well, that's not true because I saw you inside. You were helping people. You were giving them fish and coffee and forks. People can't eat without forks. And they can't <laughs> drink without a fish. That's right. <laughs> Oh, what a cute house. Man, you're going to blow everybody away at your 50th anniversary party. 
I hope 50 years from now, Linda and I are as happy as you two guys. Are you nervous? You know, I'm around weddings all the time. It's gonna be fun. Will this be your first time with intercourse? When I got married, I wasn't a virgin. I already had intercourse with eight men. <laughs> yeah. Hold out your hat. <gasps> oh, no, no, no. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> now, please, take a bite. <laughs> oh my gosh. Look at the picture of that girl. See that? You're a lot prettier than that girl, and she's getting married. <laughs> that is so wrong. You're gonna hate this idea, but I think you should consider a fake pregnancy. Believe me, in five years, I'll thank you for it. I'm assuming this is her mother? Yeah. That's just flat out crazy. Yeah. Oh no, he's gonna get stood up. Who's this? I just got off the phone with Linda's mom. Linda's not there. There was a note. A note? Everything all right? Basically indicated that Linda was not coming today. Oh, God. <laughs> I made this for you, Uncle Robbie. That's not nice. <laughs> oh, there she is. Yep. Poofy hair. Hey, you're late. I'm sorry. I just couldn't do it. If you need some more time, I guess I can wait. I don't ever want to marry you. God. <laughs> I woke up this morning and I realized I'm about to marry a wedding singer. I am never going to leave Ridgefield. Why do you need to leave Ridgefield? We grew up here. It's the perfect place to raise a family. Living in your sister's basement with five kids while you're off every weekend doing wedding gigs at a whopping 60 bucks a pop? Once again, things that could have been brought to my attention yesterday! Hey, Linda! You're a bitch! <gasps> <laughs> He, he, he might have Tourette syndrome. We're looking into it. She should have said something before today. Yeah. These are for you. Thank you. Oh no, he's breaking up. Maybe something not. Something else for you. Two airplane tickets to Las Vegas? Da -dum, da -dum. Oh my god, Glenn! Oh my god! Glenn, I love you so much. Las Vegas? I thought Jules, you... Jules, it's the romance capital of the world. Are you gonna do the girl thing? Are you gonna act happy and you're gonna be pouting on the inside no i'm happy all right let's get married here i know that's what you want it's more important to you anyway thank you only mm -hmm. 80s music <laughs> hey it's about time i remember the belt looped over like that <laughs> been down in the basement since it happened. I think he's having some kind of a mental situation. Hello? What a cool basement. Yeah. You have to go back to work. You know there's going to be over a hundred drunk girls at this wedding tonight. Why would any girl ever marry me? I'm just trying to get someone to play with your ding dong. <laughs> Everybody spread the word. I live in my sister's basement. <laughs> Why would he even think about coming back to work? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Cindy showed up, so right away, Scott, you gotta be pretty psyched, right? Hey, buddy, I'm not paying you to hear your thoughts on life. I'm paying you to sing. Well, I have a microphone. So you will listen to every damn word I have to say! <laughs> Some of us will never ever find true love. Take, for instance, me. And I'm pretty sure that guy right there. <laughs> and that lady with the sidebars. Basically everybody at table nine. <laughs> 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 
Now let's cut this stupid cake, because I know the fat guy's going to have a heart attack if we don't eat again soon. <laughs> Cindy and Scott are newlyweds. Whoopity <laughs> doo! It's going to make you cry. I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> I know he's hurting, but this is so wrong. Yeah. Love stings? Love stings! Hey. Did everybody leave? Pretty much, except for a few cops that are still interviewing some witnesses. <laughs> Can't do this anymore. Glenn and I set the date, so you have to play our wedding. Congratulations. I, I, I just can't do it, right? Aww. Well, I'm having an engagement party in two weeks, and I really want you and Sammy to come. Who's Sammy? His friend, maybe? You know, I, I've been thinking about what happened to you, and believe me, it's all for the best. You see, me and your sister, I mean, she was very adventurous. But now that's really gone. I mean, if it's a special occasion, uh, she might, uh, she might do this exotic dance for me. And sometimes <laughs> she might, uh, you know, work with, with my nipples a little bit. All right, enough. <laughs> <laughs> he looks like Miami Vice. Hi, nice house. I told you this guy was loaded. He's even got the glove. <laughs> yeah. <I know. laughs> And this is my fiance, Glenn. Congratulations, Glenn. Thank you. Robbie Hart. Oh, man, I heard what happened to you at your wedding. That was so cold. You must have <laughs> felt like shit. No, felt really good. Thanks for bringing it up, man. You know, my parents died when I was 10. Would you like to talk about that? Why would we want to talk about that? I don't know. Hey, oh, somebody needs a drink. Have a few drinks and, you know, drive home. <laughs> God, you guys came. I mean, we get to hang out at work so much, but we don't get to talk because we're always so busy. We should make time to talk, don't you think? <laughs> he seems like such a sleazeball. You told me she was in trouble. She was going to get it, and she didn't even know it. <laughs> <laughs> You're a jerk. What do you mean? You didn't know she was engaged. Funny. Say hi to your brother Tito. <laughs> <laughs> You know, it's a shame you won't be doing weddings anymore. We won't get to hang out as much. There's other things to do at the reception hall besides weddings, right? Oh, you your meats. Who of you out there would like to dance with this fine-looking woman? I'd like to do more than dance with her. <laughs> I want you to take your time and find amongst all these young studs here tonight the coolest, most unlosery guy in the bunch. Feel my love, baby. May I have this dance? Aw, they did something <laughs> sweet. You alone, that's all. <laughs> okay. All I have are these. Dude, just go with it. Just go just with it. <laughs> <laughs> In return, yeah. <laughs> okay. Thank you for recommending Tony the Flores. Not only were his flowers beautiful, but he didn't overcharge me. Good, I'm glad. And a new girl in town could certainly use that kind of help on everything. I, I would, but you know, I just, I can't. I'm afraid I'm going to pay $500 for a half-eaten wedding cake. Right. <laughs> hey, I know for a fact you gave Eric Lamonsoff that price. Tell me, did you give him that price or not? Mm -hmm. Okay, just that one time. <laughs> okay, so you got me. Yeah, I deal with a lot of people, but you two look truly happy. You're gonna make it. I know, believe me. <laughs> well, you know, you 
can just look at a couple and uh, you can tell right away that they're going to stay together forever. Woody and Mia and Bert and Lonnie. <laughs> All ones go on to fail. <laughs> Actually, you know, the weird thing is when we were growing up, we didn't get along because I used to do this to her a lot. Yes, it's ladies' night. Remember him from League of Their Own? Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, you're much better than him. He's ridiculous. Oh my god. <laughs> That was really good, man. Thank you. Hey, no, thank you. Should I thank Linda? <gasps> well, you've just inspired me to hire a DJ. Good luck finding a DJ who can move and shake like this. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I just want to warn you that uh, when I wrote this song, I was listening to The Cure a lot, so. <laughs> I hope you fucking choke. <laughs> <laughs> I liked it. <laughs> Losing his mind. <laughs> and I'm reaping all the benefits. <laughs> Curtain starts closing. <laughs> Aww. May I ask what happened with Linda? She won the right one, I guess. Did you have any idea she wasn't the right one when you were together? I remember we went to Grand Canyon one time. We were flying there, and I'd never been there before. And Linda had. You would think that she would give me a window seat, but she didn't. Just there were a lot of little things like that. I know that sounds stupid. Not at all. I think it's the little things that count. I always just envisioned the right one being someone I could see myself growing old with. Well, that's out the window. You don't want to grow old. <laughs> She was Marsha Brady. Or, yeah, I think she played Marsha Brady in the Brady Bunch movies. <laughs> I, I, I'm good. What the heck is that? I don't know. <laughs> oh my gosh. Of course just... I'm going to hire him. Not only is he your best friend, but he's the only limo driver in town. Yeah, I, I just like having fun with him. <laughs> I just like having fun with him. Wow. Look at him go. <laughs> you hit two cones. Those could have been people. Those could have been guests at her wedding. They were cones. <laughs> I loved our wedding. Hey, someone left a jacket in the back. That's Julia's jacket. Remember? She took it off on Knoxon Street. She said it's not jacket weather anymore. You like her. No, I don't. Of course you do. She's a cool chick with a hot ass. <laughs> Anyway, she told me she liked you. She said that. No. <laughs> I say that it's okay for it to be an open mouth kiss. And I say that it's the type of occasion where people dress up so it's not appropriate. Well, maybe a little tongue. Not porno tongue. Church tongue. Church tongue. Well, show me. Not, not on me. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, just hold still. Julia, go ahead. <laughs> uh, I'm getting married. I'm not kissing this other guy. <laughs> I'm gonna have to see it if I'm gonna make an educated decision. Well, if it's for educational purposes, you may kiss the bride. I think I'm gonna have to get some blue mascara. There you go. Was great, Julia. <laughs> what? <laughs> Gave her the jacket. <laughs> hey, I kissed her, but it didn't mean anything. I just brought her the jacket. <laughs> what? <laughs> kissed who? Oh, me. Who hasn't? <laughs> oh, so rude. Yeah. It's called a CD player. It cost me like 700 bucks, but the sound quality is outstanding. <laughs> you want to play a record? <laughs> oh my god, Rocky is so amazingly cute. I think I should go out with him. Yeah, I mean, why not? You're single and he's single. It makes sense. 
Good, then I'm going out with him. Good, that guy needs to get laid. Just because he's going out with me doesn't mean he's going to get laid. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> you know who else I think is sexy? Robbie Hart. <laughs> Go to the bathroom. <laughs> She'll feel better when she yaks. I hope so. <laughs> What she yaks. <laughs> I don't even know your last name. It's Gulia. Gulliad? Gulia. <laughs> Julia's last name is going to be Gulia. Julia Gulia. That's funny. <laughs> Are you excited? Yeah, she's paid her dues. Been with me four years. I owe it to her to get married. You want to get married? No, I don't want to break up. Plus, she was with me before I made my money, so I know I can trust her. That is a luscious ass right there, isn't it? Mmm, my god. That's grade A, top choice meat. <laughs> gotten hotter. Ten years ago. Try ten days ago. I mean, how do you do it without getting caught? Julia's totally preoccupied with the wedding. I mean, she doesn't know what's going on. Oh, man. Once you get married, the party's over, right? I mean, I work in the city, man. Hmm. I vomited in my hair. You just feel better, right? <laughs> DeLorean. <laughs> Back to the future. <laughs> Miami Vice is all blaring. Don't puke in the car, all right? Stink for a week. That's what he drives. <laughs> so you know Julie is staying at Glenn's tonight. I'm gonna make this really easy on you. If you come upstairs, you're gonna get laid. <laughs> mm, I have a bad headache. Can I cook you some breakfast? <laughs> she looks so 80s. I didn't vomit on you, did I? A little on my shoe, but luckily I was wearing your shoes. <laughs> so did anything happen with Robbie last night? A kiss. Who kissed who? Did you kiss him or did he kiss you? I kissed him. And then what? Nothing. I'll tell you, he sure doesn't think much of Glenn now. What did he say? That Glenn's a jerk off. But don't worry, I mean, I told him why you were marrying him. Why did you tell him I was marrying him? Well, because you love him. <sighs> Because with Glenn, you'll have security. But that's not why I'm marrying him. Then why are you? Why do you think you'd be a good hire for this bank? No, sir, I have no experience, but I'm a big fan of money. I keep it in a jar on top of my refrigerator. I'd like to put more in that jar. That's where you come in. <laughs> that's where you come in. How about this? I'll give you 10 singing lessons for one business card, please. Thank you very much. <laughs> hey, Julia, what are you doing here? I wrote these to find you. I'm not doing that anymore. But now I'm doing some stuff to better my situation. Sounds kind of selfish. Don't want to live in my sister's basement anymore. I want to get a big house. Can't do that doing favors for people all the time, getting paid in meatballs. <laughs> We're living in a material world, and I am a material girl. <laughs> <laughs> You're into material shit. Oh. What do you mean? What do I mean? You're marrying Glenn because he's got money. You asked. Oh. Oh, she made me a present. I am an asshole. You're going to the mental institution. Beat <laughs> it! <laughs> you were right. You've always been right. I've been so right about women. You get emotionally involved and they end up, they, they rip your heart out of your ass. <laughs> you need a prostitute. <laughs> Do those make it better? I wouldn't know. <laughs> I think I'm in love with her. But I gotta get that out of my head, you know. I 
just, I'm gonna be like you, man. I'm just gonna be with a different chick every night, and then I'll send them packing. I mean, I, I'm, I'm gonna have to give them cab money to go home. <laughs> Me and you are gonna be free and happy the rest of our lives. I'm not happy. Uh, what? I grew up idolizing guys like Fonzie and Vinnie Barbarino. You know what happened to Fonzie and Vinnie Barbarino? Yeah, I read that Fonzie wants to be a director and <laughs> Barbarino, I think, the Mechanical Bull movie. I didn't see it yet. <laughs> All I really want is someone to hold me and tell me that everything <laughs> is going to be all right. <laughs> everything is going to be all right. <laughs> Hello? It's nice to meet you. I'm Julia Gulia. <laughs> <laughs> right when I wake up in the morning, you're the first person that pops in my head and I keep thinking about you over and over. It's nice to meet you. I'm Mrs. Julia Gulia. <laughs> Hi, I'm Mrs. Robbie Hart. Robbie and I are so pleased you could come to our wedding. Hey, I heard you couldn't close the deal with Holly. You like women, right? <laughs> Not as much as you do, I guess. You're ridiculous, man. Stop all this cheating shit, moron. She's a good girl. Don't go snitching to Julia about this. I know you got some little crush on her. She'd rather go to bed with a real man, not some poor singing orphan. <laughs> And the girl that he's hanging on to, she's just happy yeah, as like... can be. Okay, what are you doing? I'm sorry. I used to be much stronger. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you write a song about this? I got punched in the nose for sticking my face in other people's business. Sounds like a country song. <laughs> Oh no. Yeah. Oh shit. I really miss you and I want to come back. <laughs> oh no. <sighs> oh no. <laughs> oh no. Can I help you? Is Robbie here? I'm afraid he's uh, indisposed. Shower. You must be Linda. Yeah, that's me, Robbie's fiance. Who are you? I'm Julia Sullivan. Would you tell him that I came by to see him? Oh, yeah, I surely will, Jennifer. It's Julia. <laughs> Wake up, sleepyhead. What are you doing here? I told you last night, Robbie. I realized I was wrong and I want to take care of you for good. I could learn to deal with the fact that you're just a wedding singer, not a rock. Oh, oh my gosh. Hey, psycho. I'm not going to feel better about this. It's over. Now please get out of my Van Halen t shirt before you jinx the band and they break up. <laughs> Which they did. <laughs> did they? Yeah, David Lee Roth left. On a hill, but I never heard. That leg is so close to the edge. The leg to the chair. Mm, I didn't notice. Oh, I hope he doesn't fall. I just always envisioned the right one being someone I could grow old with. I know. I'll go get the car. Congratulations. I gotta go take care of something, okay? Go get her. All right, all right. Robbie, I have to talk to you. I can't talk right now. Are you back with Linda? No, why? Who said that? Julia, she went to your house to tell you she was falling for you, and Linda answered the door. She was so upset, she and Glenn just jumped a plane to Vegas. What do you mean? They're getting married tomorrow. Apparently, that wasn't soon enough. I said hip hop. I hip it to the hip it to the hip. <laughs> I'm sorry. Can I help you? <laughs> Flock of seagulls. <laughs> We only have one seat left, and it's in our first class section. The next flight leaves in the morning. Can I borrow your credit card? 
But it's in the morning. No, the next flight. They have one seat on this one. Hey, do you like flock of seagulls? I can see you do. So there was only one first class ticket on this flight or the next morning. Hey, Glenn. Do you mind if we switch seats and I sat in the window seat? I hate the aisle seat. Every time that drink cart comes by, it bangs me in the elbows. Your arms are smaller than mine, Jules. <laughs> oh, I know. I just never saw the bright lights of Vegas before. It's daylight. How about I let you lean over me when we fly over the strip? <laughs> okay? <laughs> She's got a keeper, doesn't she? Thank you. Hot towel. Thanks. <laughs> Billy Idol. <laughs> Sir? Is that Billy Idol? I believe it is. Oh my god. Would you like some champagne or some orange juice? How much is it? It's free. Actually, I shouldn't drink. I fell in love with this girl, and she's gonna marry an idiot, so I'm on my way to Vegas to stop them. Where are they getting married? That's the problem. I don't know where, but I'm gonna run around and find them, you know? I gotta do what I gotta do. Are they on the same plane? I don't know. <laughs> Next time they come by, grab me a Heineken, will you? I think they're on the same plane, except he's in first class. Look at the little logo in the back. And Linda answers the door wearing nothing but my Van Halen t-shirt. Oh, no way. <laughs> Glenn doesn't deserve her. Even women are possessions to him. Yeah. See, Billy Idol gets it. I don't know why she doesn't get it. <laughs> Some creeping coach who thinks he's Don Johnson just asked me to be part of the Mile High Club. He said I was grade A, top choice meat. What's the Mile High Club? <laughs> he called it. The Mile High guy is Glenn. They're on this plane. No way! <laughs> Good afternoon, everyone. We're flying at 26,000 feet. One of our first class passengers would like to sing you a song inspired by one of our coach passengers. I wanna make you smile whenever you're sad. Carry you around when your arthritis is bad. <laughs> I'll get your medicine when your tummy <laughs> aches. Billy Idol's guitar. It could be so nice growing old. Even let you hold the remote control. Okay. What the hell's that fruit doing here? Oh. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. I have to serve the beverages. Oh. Uh, how you doing, sir? You better get out of my way, Billy. You're gonna get hurt. Oh yeah. Don't you talk to Billy Idol that way. <laughs> 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 Put you to bed when you've had too much to drink. I could be the man who grows old with you. See, you've never written a song for me. I'm not a singer. That was the most beautiful song. I got a confession to make. That song was about you. <laughs> I'm in love with you. I am so in love with you. Hey, Robbie. That wasn't a bad song, you know. I'm gonna tell this record company guys about you. Mind if I give her a kiss first? Oh yeah, do what you gotta do. Robbie and Julia. All right, that was a wedding singer. What did you think? That was pretty sweet. You enjoyed that one? Yeah. So which one did you like more? Fifty First Dates or this? Gosh, that's really hard. Yeah. So I really liked this one because it was, it was cute. It was um, believable. It was yeah. fun. Yeah. But Fifty First Dates was also incredible. And it just made me laugh so much. Yeah. Did you have a favorite part? When he sang to her. <laughs> yeah. So the first time I saw this, I, I didn't realize it was really Billy Idol. I was like, wow, that whoever they got to impersonate him looks really good. Because, you know, it was like 10, 15 years after he was big. 
or maybe like 10 so i thought hey he looks a little older you know that's that must be a an impersonator or something that one looked and was like no that's really really idle holy crap that's so funny <laughs> i just love how matter of fact it is like you know get out of the way billy <laughs> you know like he knows them or something so yeah glenn was a, a total just jerk every sense of the word there was a lot of great um 80s callbacks you know to like the delorean and the cd player the rubik's cube all that stuff so it was a great movie it was fun i enjoyed that yeah yeah i I don't know how many other movies they did together um i don't know if you know you know leave them down in the comments if they're worth checking out they did really well together Mm -hmm. i'm I could see them having a lot of fun with both those movies, you know? Yeah. I want to say they were in other ones together, too, but I don't know. I know she was, like, in big in rom-coms around that time. 50 First Dates. and Not, not 50 First Dates. Never Been Kissed. Um, I know there were other ones, too. But, mm. but yeah, that was a funny movie. It was enjoyable. It was uh, good. Yeah. Anything else you want to say? Mm-mm. All right. Well, if you guys enjoyed this reaction, please give us a thumbs up. Comment down below. Let us know what you thought of The Wedding Singer. If there's any other Adam Sandler, uh, Drew Barrymore movies we should check out, let us know in the comments. Uh, don't forget, like, comment, subscribe. Uh, if you want to see the full-length reaction to this and everything else we've reacted to, we'll put the Patreon link down below. And we will see you next time. Bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>